Time right now is 650 and with kids now on their phone for what seems like all day long, instances of cyberbullying just continue to rise. That's just one topic social media experts will discuss at Papillion La Vista High School tonight. And Jenna Jane joins us now with why she says cyberbullying is so important to address. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Jordan and Cerise. When it comes to bullies, 30% of students say that they have cyber bullied someone and 70% of those students say they did it because someone else cyber bullied them first. So if you can stop one student from continuing that cycle, we could see the end to cyber bullying. And that's exactly what Karen Hasse is going to address. She says there's four main steps to trying to reduce the amount of cyber bullying and it comes the same steps if you're the victim or if you're the bully. First, she says parents need to check their emotions. If you get extremely emotional, it's going to make your child more nervous or scared about the situation. Instead, try to react reasonably and calmly. Then, have your child come up with their own solution to the problem and sit down together to talk about why they're behaving this way or ways to make it stop. Then, talk to the school. Sometimes they can fill in missing pieces of information that you may not know. They can also have a conversation with everyone involved to get a clearer idea of what happened. And finally, and possibly the hardest step to take, you need to have a conversation with the parents of the other child involved. Hey mom and dad, here are screenshots of what your kid has said to my kid. We're having some problems here at home and we're working on that. But I just thought I'd let you know this is the stuff that your kid is putting up and so that you can make parenting decisions based on that information. I think that is sensible. I think it also models for kids appropriate problem solving because the first thing you're supposed to do when you have a problem with someone is, is calmly discuss it with them. Hasi also says that parents need to accept the fact that it's a real possibility that your child could be a bully. So having some strategies in mind before the situation arises could be really helpful if it ever does come up. And Jordan Cerise, not an easy thing for any parent to really accept, but with one in three kids saying they cyberbullied, it's a real possibility that your child could be that person. One yeah. in three, that is alarming, Jenna. It really is. And then since so many of them were bullied already, it's just this endless cycle. It needs to stop. I yeah, agree. Absolutely. Jenna Jane's reporting this morning. Jenna, thank you so much. It is scary. I like the expert's uh, resolution, though. You call that parent, you mm -hmm. tell them calmly, you have it. Mm -hmm. you just, this is what your child sent me, and hopefully they'll react appropriately. It's got, it got to be a tough thing to, to police and keep an eye on. Right. And, and I guess the more the parents are involved and interact with the kids, probably the better the situation will be. Yeah.